Hello everybody, this is Buck WSR Weezer coming at you today with a small engine project. This is a uh, Craftsman mower with the Briggs & Stratton 625 series quantum engine. And I've done a number of things to this machine. Got it running. And then I discovered a problem that I got to deal with. The axle seal underneath the PTO side oil was just coming out ran it for about five minutes probably lost eight ounces of oil so I got to try to replace that seal and uh, bringing you along for the ride if this works out it'll be awesome and if it doesn't you'll never be watching this video so I'm going to put a plastic bag over the gas cap because it's a vented cap when I turn the mower on its side it'll leak so we're going to try to put this mower directly on its side I've already removed the blade I uh, have a pan under here to catch additional drips I have drained the oil just trying to find the best way to position this. Alright, that might work. This block of wood might be better. Because we need access to the underside of this. I hope that you're going to be able to see what I'm doing here. Moving you a little bit closer. Alright, so here's the bottom of the engine. And I'm going to try to take this oil seal. that goes around the drive, drive axle. Crankshaft, whatever you're going to call it. And uh, see if I can get that out. Now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take a drill... And two self-tapping screws. These are the only ones I could come up with. These may be overkill. And I'm going to try to drill one in on both sides through the metal of the seal. So I'm going to have a screw in on both sides, which will hopefully then enable me to pull that oil seal out. All right, so let's give it a shot. do this better if I'm wearing glasses. I just want to try to tap a little hole indent so it'll stay in that hole while I try to drill it. Yeah, there's one. Let's try the other side. Try the other side here. You know what? I'm thinking just one screw there. It thing's moving, so I might be able to just pull it out now. I need to do two of them. There we go. Get a rag. Additional oil spillage. Yes, yeah, so there's there it is. It uh, that came out. So that's how we removed the old one.
this this lip is torn up here this is probably why it was leaking to begin with but uh we're gonna we're gonna replace this guy and uh Hope that solves this problem. Done so many things to this engine, and uh, it's pretty much ready to go. But this is the one problem that was remaining. So hopefully, we could pick up a new seal on uh, eBay or whatever, and uh, I'll bring you along when it comes in for the install. Well, here's the new seal stems part 4950555 it's a Briggs and Stratton part number 399781S it's this guy right here so we're going to install it to do that you need the new seal I've got a piece of PVC pipe I guess this is about an inch and a half and the piece of pipe is longer than the shaft on the PTO and I'm going to use it to gently tap the new seal in place. Hammer and a little bit of clean motor oil. So I'm going to take a little bit of clean motor oil and lubricate the sides, the outside, but also the inside. And we want to put this on carefully in such a way that we don't damage this inner lip. Now I'm going to use the PVC pipe to try to evenly and carefully tap it into place. Okay, just a bit at a time here. And you'll know when it's fully seated. Because it stops moving and just the hammering of it has a, a different feel. And that's all there is to it. The new seal's in place. We'll we'll uh, put the engine, the, the mower back right side up, add oil to the crankcase, reattach the blade, and uh, should be good to go. So I hope this helps you as you replace the oil seal on your Briggs and Stratton Quantum engines. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment if you have one.